This is never dull here. This is the black diamond. I believe you can probably see that in the camera. Here's Never Dull. And uh, look at the sheen on that. Probably see the, there's the before. There's the after. You can see where I stopped cleaning right here. And it's that easy just to rub it on. Here's the line here for the Never Dull. Here's the line up here. Uh, product works pretty good. Yeah, you can see the difference. And uh, I rubbed the Never Doll just as much, if not more, as what I did put the cleaner on. Uh, let's zoom over here for a second. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's called White Diamond. Thought it was Black Diamond. But uh, yeah, that stuff cleans aluminum, brass, chrome, stainless steel, uh, vanilla scented. You know, not that I'm gonna plan on eating it, but see if I can get that in the light a little better. Um, but yeah, we have a whole lot of aluminum here, and uh, I'm kind of not able to uh, do a whole lot. So you can hear my che chair squeaking it's uh pretty much quarantined to a chair but over here's my wife's jeep uh as you can see she has generate front bumper with hoop front fenders with the four inch flare and uh the rear quarters with uh four inch flare as well um so we have we have quite a bit. And then on the front, I'm running the uh, Krolltec, uh front fenders with uh, the aluminum armor on the tub and fender. Um, I just spent maybe half hour cleaning it at the most. Uh, so I'm back here doing rear corner. Uh, let's see if I can get over here and move my chair go over here and here's the see if I can get it to zoom here focus there's the rear armor that I've done already still need to buff it a little bit with a clean towel but uh yeah, it was just as dirty. I drove it home from storage and uh, it was a mess. So I gave it a quick bath last week. And that was what it was left with. There you can see the, the difference in the before and after. And right there's the Never Doll. I've used to use Never Doll. Uh, years ago on my uh, aluminum wheels, but I guess it's it's done some changing. Uh, must I see it's owned by Eagle One now? I'm not sure if that's who always owned it, but uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that product. Uh, she, bought, my wife, bought this for me, and that's that's what I found so far. Just sitting in my chair and doing a little polishing so all right guys 
Thanks.